Well, you're the guy who rides him most mornings now. Not every morning anymore, but most mornings now. What was your impression of the trial? Well, I think he went pretty well. Like you say, he, did, uh, he had a long time off this time. I thought he went pretty well. Got to remember he's getting older now and he's had a little bit more time off. He didn't race right to the end of last season, so he's a little bit more ring rusty. And they went pretty quick. The pleasing part of his trial was the last bit and more so through the line. I've got to ride in the races twice a week, so I'm not silly enough to go in his box too often. I know what he's like, I know what his reputation's like, but you're with him every day. Well, uh, you give me a few pounds, <laughs> I can tell you that. I think you should come around and try to go in his box. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I know what his reputation is, so I'll leave that part to you. <laughs> Yeah, as you know, my role is a bit unusual on race day because I do work behind the gate. I just have to wait for you at the gate and see how the horse is feeling, is, is, is acting. And um, do you actually realise when I'm in a gate with you, you always say one thing to me is, give him a pat, give him a pat. Yeah, yeah, well, you know him well and I know he knows you and they yeah, give him a pat. And it's about getting him to relax in the gates for me because uh, all the work has been done. I've got around there, you run over like a kid in a candy store to grab him. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's meant to lead him behind the gate. <laughs> You're getting the elbows out. <laughs> You're first one to grab hold of him and, and to, to walk him around. And most of the time you get up in the gates with me. Yeah. So, you know, our job then is, he, he's pretty good in the gates, isn't he, as we know, but from yeah. time to time he gets a little bit edgy. He can get a bit uh, yeah, agitated sometimes. So we've got to keep him nice and relaxed and make sure that he's, he's focused for when the gate opens. It's impossible to choose one, but my favourite memory was his international mile win when he beat Viv Loss in what was a, a, a pretty solid field that year and he basically just destroyed them. He went straight to the front. For me, that's probably his standout performance. And, well, what's been your favourite win? Well, I, I like that win too, but for me, it's more the group two he had um, on the 1600 when he break the track record. I think the race didn't go to plan at all. He had to settle at the back, then you make a move early on to another front again and, and he still won even if he was hanging and, and break the track record I think that was pretty impressive. Phenomenal performance but for me out there riding him at the time it wasn't much fun I yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen uh, champions do things that other horses can't let's just hope that he can he, he looks good to me he still feels like he's got the will to want to do it it's now David's job to be able to handle him you know we're, we're looking to create history he's looking for that that elusive 19th win that no other horse in, in Hong Kong has had. So for me, it's exciting. Let's hope we can get another international group one with him.